Now let's move on to question number 59 of NEET 2017 code R. So this is a very good question, little bit application oriented and it's on the test the basics of how you know, how many intermediates you know. So this is related to a different kind of intermediates. Let's have a look. So you have been given metabromoanisole and on treatment with NaNH2 that is sodamide, what could be the product? Okay, let's try to have a look. So you have anisole. So I'm just going to put the double bonds and I'm going to put OCH3 and there is a Br over here. Now I'm going to show a hydrogen over here. So what exactly happens? So NaNH2, NH2 is basically a base, right? So if you could see here, this base Na plus and NH2 minus. So this would deprotonate this as a result of which hydrogen would be giving the electron to the benzene ring and bromine will be acting as a leaving group. As a result of which you would be getting a different type of intermediate. I think I've already told you this. So if you could see here, this is OCH3. Now, if I'm going to put a triple bond over here, this becomes a benzene intermediate. Okay, so this is basically benzene intermediate and then I'm going to write minus NH3. Right, so this is a benzene intermediate and then this benzene intermediate, so this is basically an elimination to form a benzene intermediate. Now this benzene intermediate undergoes addition. So in, in addition what exactly happens? The bond breaks. Now the question is whether NH2, NH, uh, addition of NH3 that's going to happen. NH3 is basically NH2 minus NH plus. So if you could see here, what exactly you could conclude in this case? So if you could see here, NH2 and H both have to add an attack somewhere, right? So if you could see here, very, very simple thing. So this carbon is connected to oxygen and this is a hetero atom, right? More electronegative atom. So it would be deactivating this position little bit more than this. As a result of which nucleophilic substitution would be, nucleophilic addition could be prominent over in this case. So NH2 would come here and H would come here. And as a result of which, you would be getting uh, OCH3 NH2 right Anis anisole becomes the name of this compound is orthoanisidin if it is CH3 then you say tolidin right so anisole becomes anisidin in this case so the correct answer to this particular question is option number three which says it is elimination addition reaction okay so the correct answer to this particular question is option number three okay so uh, this was about question number 59 for more such videos please comment like or subscribe